Welcome back to Afternoon Express, live on SABC3. Clem and I are back to get started on our turn. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So this is National Mar Marine Week. <laughs> it's so silly because we're showing our appreciation by indulging. For fish, by eating it. <laughs> exactly. For marine but trust life. us, we'll do that. So the first we're going to start off with is our prawn and avo mixture. So what I've got over here is a mayonnaise that I've seasoned really well with Worcester sauce and Tabasco sauce and then some chives. Just to mm -hmm. give it a nice, like... Almost like a, it's called a Mary Rose sauce, but we haven't added all the ingredients, but just brought some of the stronger flavors through. Okay. So this is going to be the base of our tea so that we can leave over there so long. Right. So let's get started with our prawns. So I've got these amazing prawns from Woolies, which I always use when I'm uh, when I'm entertaining because it's been cooked already. Yeah. And they can't pre well presented in this ring. So let me just it pop it so right open. It is like all in a row, ready to I be know, eaten. Right? Let me just pop it right open, and I'm going to take out the prawns. Just a nice handful of them. Okay. And that's about enough, so let me put to the side. Ring of prawns. Ring of prawns. I mean, how amazing <laughs> are these? I know. Just put them over there. <laughs> so I'm going to start chopping them and keep it nice and rough. Sometimes when you go to restaurants and you have a prawn and avo tea on, they end up chopping up the prawns so finely that you're looking for them and you can't right. find it anywhere. So keep it nice and chunky. That goes into our bowl. Okay. And of course, avo. And avos at the moment, I mean, it's so great at Woolies that you can always walk into a store and get an avo that's ripe. Yeah. Because it's the worst thing when you get it. That's a... really such a relief, hey? Because I've got friends that have serious avo cravings and then they just can't find avos anywhere. I know, I know. And so, the only ones you'll find for miles, like, really hard. And sometimes. that helps nobody. It helps nobody. So get the avo in. And again, I'm keeping it quite chunky. Don't, a lot of people end up cutting little squares and popping in there. You can do that. I just like the irregular bits. it gets too mushy, right? Yeah. And because you're going to mix it up. Yeah. So you don't want to have to find. Yeah. So in goes my mayonnaise. And you just give it a good mix. And I guess what helps with making it a bit thicker is that you, your layers become quite distinct. Exactly. Right? Okay. So I've got a, a mixture that I've made already. If you can pass that to me. Absolutely. So a squeeze of lemon would go, you know, I add lemon to everything. To everything. Everything. So give it a squeeze of lemon and mix it through. So that's what we've got. And now let's move on to the trout, our other part of our tea. It's actually the hero of the day. Trout is so amazing. Now, we get it willies in two types. We get it hot smoked or cold smoked. You get okay. the fresh one. So hot smoked means it's actually been smoked and cooked at the same time. Cold smoked means that smoky flavor has just been like infused, infused into the trout into, yeah. and it's not cooked. Even though you can't eat it raw, it's not 100% cooked yet. Okay. So today, we're going to be using the hot smoked one. Thanks for that education. I didn't know I'm that about I'm all about the education. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so all you have to do, real simple, is just add some of the flaked trout to the bottom of our ring. Now, I know not everybody at home is going to have one of these mold rings. What you can use is transparency paper. All right. Or work in a bowl and then just turn the bowl upside down. Upside down. Absolutely. Okay. So keep on building your layers, trout, and then a prawn and avo mixture all the way to the top. And give it a gentle press down so you know you're kind of compacting all the ingredients. Okay. And what you're going to end up with is one over there. But actually, let me just finish this one first. Yeah. What's great is you can make you've these got ahead two of... two layers of each on that one. You can go... Well, it depends how high you want to make it. If you want to take it a little higher, you can go three, four layers. Okay. So these are great because you can make them ahead of time before um, guests arrive. So the day before. Even though it's seafood, remember, it's been smoked and, and smoking. Just keep it chilled in the fridge. In the fridge. One of the great things about smoking fish is that smoking actually preserves fish. That's oh. where it actually originated from. Okay. Yeah. So it's a great preservative. So this will keep beautifully in the fridge. So... Compact it down nicely. Let's see. I like to let it sit in the ring mold for a few minutes just yeah. to firm up. But let's see if we've got it. Yay. Yes, we do. Look at that. So that's quite beautiful. And you can do that at your table. Guess we'll be clapping just like you did. Yeah. <laughs> but maybe you can pass me the one we made earlier. So these are two smaller ones that I've made. So these are like my the centerpiece of the dish. But I like dressing it up and adding so much more to it. So let's start with what we've got over here. These vegetable chips are absolutely amazing, and we've used it before on the show. We actually always have a bag in studio. Just waiting. Just waiting, and when people get hungry, we just feed them these absolutely. chips. It's so good. So add some of these. And what's also great is you can actually use it as kind of like scoops. As your, yeah, Perfect. scooper. And I love the fact that the, the ingredients in the, the vegetables are quite sweet, the carrot and the beetroot. Complements so well with the tanginess of that mayonnaise and the seafoody flavor. And then... I've got my curly vegetables. Ah, so pretty. What I've done is I've taken a vegetable peeler and peeled a long cucumber and my rainbow carrots. And what I love doing, celery. Look at that. Oh, that's, that's so lovely. cool. 
Such a fresh summer meal. It is. And I say this all the time, but it's a great way to get kids to eat their vegetables. <laughs> so you start changing yeah. textures and the shape Absolutely. of things. They go Absolutely. crazy. Wow. So that goes just like that. Okay. And what I want to do is maybe a little touch of Tabasco sauce. Yeah. And on the one, on the on one, the one. For you yeah. and me, I know we like it hot. Some people don't, so there we go. just have to be careful. Okay, cool. And absolutely beautiful. What do you think? I absolutely love it. It looks so sensational. And it's, it's so fresh, so perfect thing. for summer. Yeah, can't wait to taste it. <laughs> now, the keyword for this recipe is try it. SMS it to 66350, and there you'll get a link to the recipe and the ingredients. SMSs cost 150. No SMSs, no free SMSs apply.